Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, please subscribe. I'd really love that. If you're returning, how you doing? <clears throat> Imagine for a second, you live in a nice serene little town that's nestled among the rolling hills as the sun slowly dips down below the horizon and the shroud of calmness falls upon the city as city lights start to glow and residents slowly return to their homes for the night. However, not all is peaceful. And slowly, the hairline cracks begin to appear on the ground. And these subtle little rifts in the soil, mostly unnoticed by the town folk, would soon give rise to a cataclysmic natural disaster that would shake the very foundations of their lives and the earth itself. What I'm about to tell you sounds like an apocalyptic movie. Giant cracks that have appeared across the US Southwest have scientists very worried. However, the cause behind the appearance of these cracks is actually well known. The US has been pumping so much groundwater that the ground itself is beginning to split open across the southwestern part of the country, spanning miles on end. And so far, these cracks have been spotted in Arizona, Utah, and California. As its name implies, groundwater flows below the surface of the earth through a complex system of interconnected space within rocks and sediment known as an aquifer. And humans typically tap into this underground reservoir by drilling wells, which then create a cone for the water to flow upward from the aquifer. <clears throat> However, when too much of this groundwater is pumped up, the mass above loses the support provided by the water, allowing the soil above it to collapse, thus resulting in the formation of the crack. Now, these cracks most definitely are not a naturally occurring phenomena. Sure, some fissures originate from nature, but they're mostly rare, not nearly as common as usually result from the shifts in the Earth's crust. Aquifers are typically replenished in so-called recharge areas, typically in higher elevations where rainfall and moisture infiltrate into the ground and seep downwards, helping to maintain the overall balance of groundwater in the aquifer. Sometimes it emerges at the surface as springs, allowing the water to cut its own crack, also known as a riverbed. Now, consistent extraction of water disrupts the naturally occurring cycle of water, which now results in the formation of fissures. Unfortunately, these tend to form above aquifers in basins between mountains. Do you know what's also located in these basins? Populated areas. And it's quite easy to understand how those two combined populated areas and the formation of fissures can spell disaster. These fissures can damage more than just homes and roads, canals and dams. They can threaten humans, and livestock, and they have a direct impact on property value in the area as well. What's even more concerning is the fact that the formation of these cracks is not limited to the Southwest. Sure, the changes are rather prominent there, but the unsanctioned extraction of water remains the main culprit. And there's actually no one to blame. The U.S. suffers from any clear regulation on water extraction across the nation. And most states outright have unregulated extraction of groundwater. So if we cut down on water extraction, we lose a significant portion of farming and food. But if we don't, the earth will swallow us whole. It actually won't, I'm being dramatic, but we can expect the cracks to grow. 
Yeah. So, this is something that I learned and I wanted to bring it to your attention because I know I have some community members that live in those states. And if you see any of these, just be aware, okay? All right, guys, I'm out of here. I'll see you in the next one, okay? You stay safe, you stay positive, you keep prepping. And as always, fear less. <laughs>